The San Onofre nuclear power plant was shut down in 2012 after a radioactive leak, but tons of radioactive spent fuel rods remain there, less than 60 miles north of downtown San Diego. Some rods are already in dry cask storage, like this, and many more will soon be moved from cooling ponds into casks 100 feet from the beach. Neil Driscoll at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography says the biggest earthquake threat to this area is not the San Andreas Fault. The distance is about 56 miles, and so the San Andreas Fault, you'd feel the shaking, but the ground motion is contingent on the material properties of the rock and the distance, so it doesn't pose a serious threat to the people along the coastline. Driscoll says the Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault that runs in sections up the shoreline is a bigger risk for coastal Southern Californians and for San Onofre or Songs. This fault for people living along the shore will cause greater ground motion because of its proximity. Being eight kilometers from here at Songs, but in other places it actually comes on shore and goes right through downtown San Diego, San Diego Bay. The research being done here at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography is giving us a much better idea of what is not a seismic threat to the San Onofre site and the millions of people who live around it and what is. We spent 100 days of collecting geophysical and geological data offshore. All of these lines <laughs> show ship tracks that were collected with Scripps research ships. Driscoll concluded, though the Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault is broken into sections, the gaps between the sections are small enough that the fault could theoretically rupture from end to end. The maximum magnitude earthquake, if they rupture end to end, is 7.3. And if it ruptures the onshore northern segment, it could go as high. There's still estimates of 7.3, but it could go as high as a magnitude 7.4. Southern California Edison officials who run the plant said when San Onofre was still operating, it was built to withstand an earthquake of up to magnitude 7. The dry cask storage for the still radioactive spent fuel rods is designed to withstand more ground shaking than the cooling pools. Edison estimates the spent fuel will not all be moved out of the pools and into the casks until 2019. Previous data showed another fault that runs right under the plant, a fault called the Oceanside Blind Trust. One of the things is, the big questions was this. If I had rupture on the Oceanside Blind Thrust, if it existed, could I trigger a rupture on the Newport Englewood Rose Canyon or vice versa? And that might release more energy having another fault system involved. But Driscoll says his data and older data from oil companies that was reinterpreted do not show evidence of the Oceanside Blind Trust. So he concludes that this is one less thing to worry about. Tsunamis have been measured as high as 40 meters and the seawall between the spent fuel storage at San Onofre and the beach is only about nine meters high. But Driscoll says his data shows this part of the coastline is not as vulnerable to tsunamis as other parts of the west coast. He points on a map to underwater peaks and canyons. This is Point Conception here, down to the border. What you'll notice is that Southern California has this rough topography offshore, which is shown here in this bathymetry. This rough topography, like Cortez Bank and Tanner Bank, they're shallows. The tsunami energy comes in and it builds up, but then right adjacent there's deeps and it collapses. So for far field tsunamis, the topography offshore, the underwater mountain ranges and valleys acts as a natural baffle to tsunamis. So I mean, do you think as a resident of San Diego that you were reassured by your research or what? I find that the Rose Canyon, uh, Newport Englewood system which is right offshore here, my office, I'm very close to it. Um, it could rupture together, but the data we have offshore shows that the offshore segments have not ruptured in concert for the last 10,500 to about 13,000 years before present. The northern end of this fault ruptured as recently as 1933, and Driscoll says the last evidence of activity on the south end of the Rose Canyon Fault was about 1650. How all this actually affects the plan to store highly radioactive spent nuclear fuel at San Onofre is up to Edison to interpret, Driscoll says. Personally, he's not taking any chances. These bookshelves are all anchored to the wall. Yes, um, everything in this office is very earthquake proof.